morning traders so this is your Aussie daily review and the South African top 40 so um, we've pretty much got into a I'm starting off on the weekly chart but we slap bang in the middle of all this uh, congestion from last year and you can see this is where all the buyers were stepping in last year um, and obviously they sold off and it wasn't climbing any further but uh, I think the the key element here is that we have not quite bounced off here. We have created a higher high, ever so slightly some diversions coming into play on the weekly. And if we pick us up on the daily, you'll see we have um, pretty much a double top at play, well, brewing at the moment. Um, not much diversions, but there is diversions here brewing on the awesome ladder. Okay, so again, uh, this data is incorrect. I'll show you now. So it is a, a bit of a pin bar, but not such a long tail as this. And uh, we are at futures close out today. So you picked a bit of volatility um, sort of at the open, and then it should uh, just calm down a bit until 12 o'clock, and then from about uh, quarter to 12 to quarter past 12, the auction ends at quarter past 12, then you should uh, see a little bit of um, a little bit more volatility while people are trying to hedge their positions, depending where they stand on the future side of things. Okay, so for me, I think the bigger picture is we right in this congestion. Now I'm going to just put a couple of levels in here. Here's the one level. See, there's my breakout level there, and the next level that we really have is going to be sort of there's a couple here but I think this pin bar here is a level and there's an ups there's another level and let's just put the other one down to the downside which is right there okay so you can see there where all the pin bar well where all the tails have touched this area here okay so if we come across you'll see that was the one area that we're selling coming off and now we're selling off the the next level okay so let's get down to the lower time frames and just get our plan for today um so you can see this where my where my cursor is now that's where ig oh, not ig sorry um gt24 is actually reckoned the market closed but in actual fact it closed up here Okay, so if I just put a level in there, and I will just make that a different color so we know, uh, let's just say that is the close, it's a green line. Okay, <clears throat> right. So looking at the four hour, you can see we're still trending up. Okay, we did break down to the downside, but we didn't hold and we have a wedge okay that's a pretty well defined wedge and if i come down to the hour you'll probably find that there are a lot of fractional points making up that uh that wedge okay so this is a fractional master fractional down here and this here this tail here is a fractional that's one that's two and that's not a fractional this is a fractional that's three and uh, that's not quite a fractal. Fractals here, but that's three fractals on the, on the top. And I can pretty much do that, and I'll get one that's also fractal. So that's one, two, and I can tidy that up to there if I wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. Moral of the story is that is a wedge. Okay. And we have had a breakout below it and a retest. So if you're looking at the hour, you'll see breakout below. Bit of indecision and then a retest back to the top where we closed so i would expect some kind of um a sell-off not a massive sell-off but i would expect some kind of downward move uh, more than likely to come and pick up some of these levels so this level here has been tagged already okay so if we just put this in here and just have to change that color so we can see it again okay so this level here has been tagged and bounced off but it did close below it okay you can see i closed below it 
stay below it, and then uh, some profit taking that happened for this uh, move short. So that level has been done. The next most logical level is down the bottom here. Okay, so this, and we'll, I'll give you the levels now when we're on the, uh, sorry, when we hit the, um, the 30 minute chart, and there's two levels down here. So you can see there's my swing high there, and there's my other swing high here. So both those levels are fairly critical and something that you need to watch. And this one tidied up onto that area there. Okay, that changes the picture ever so slightly. You can see we've bounced off it. Okay, so essentially we'd have to break below this um, one hour indecision bar here. And then we'd have the next two levels in play. Okay, so let's just look at the half hour and then I'll give you all the levels and what we need to look for. Right, um, half hour a little bit clearer. You can see momentum has died. Uh, we were pretty much were going nowhere. And then a sharp sell off. Break through the wedge, a retest. Back down, another retest. Okay, so... First things first, the closing range breakout strategy played out perfectly. Okay, and I'm just going to... Let's just leave that for now. Okay, so technically speaking, if we do get below this level of 54.85, then you're looking for 51 nine six and then you're looking for fifty one hundred and I would expect us to get to this level so there are quite a few um, futures that are let's not call them trap but the fifty thousand level is a fairly strong level where a lot of people have got some futures in there so you'd expect people to start hedging this and sell this down so they don't lose money on their futures so that's kind of um, what I'm expecting, and uh, it's exactly what everything's playing out to say at the moment. So, yesterday, the things that can affect us today, um, Europe, oh, sorry, not Europe, the US was fairly flat. Uh, NASDAQ was ever so slightly up. Uh, the SP was, um, let's call it flat, it was 0.09% down, and the Dow Jones was 10% uh, uh, sorry, 0.10% down. So everything was flat, and if you look at the RAND, 10 cents is down half a percent at the moment, and the RAND uh, was slightly weak at 14.50. Um, so nothing really there that's indicating that we're going to get a, a massive move. So I, I suspect we're just going to get some kind of meandering down. And uh, we just get rid of all the noise, and then again, I would say... I'm just going to just show you. So we're on the half hour. There was the closing range from the previous day. And you can see how we held the, the level at the bottom, broke to the upside, and then we ended up. And it almost guarantee you that our Fibonacci targets were hit. Okay. There's the range height, the range break target. You can see the seller stepped in there, and then there's the 261.8% right there. Or we couldn't get through that level. Okay, so that's definitely what I would be playing again today. And uh, normally, when you see this, you can see this closing range is almost exactly the same height as that, just ever so slightly bigger. But normally, when you see this, it, it plays out again. So I would expect us to play down at least to the range target. It's down here, so let's just put those levels in. So there's a range break there. Not quite that clear. And there's the next one. So there's a fractal there. There's a fractal there. And if I just swing across, you'll see there's my previous swing low. Okay, so 5191 is definitely an area that... Uh, Let's just say 5200. That's definitely an area that we need to, to watch for, and that's kind of the, the short that I would play for. Okay, now the thing that 
the fact that we have a rolling over of the the alligator at the moment is also a little bit of a concern. If I look at the 12 minute, you'll see we've broken down and we're now testing the break. Okay, so moral of the story is pretty simple. Stops are above 56.75 and you're looking for a short and you're looking to break below 54.43 and you look for those Fibonacci extension targets. Bearing in mind that there are a few gaps to the downside as well. Uh, let's, just, let's just put this gap in here. And let's go back to the one hour. Okay, previous swing high there, but that's quite far away. So I'm more inclined to believe that. Those two there are, are the levels we need to worry about. Okay. That's kind of my view today, uh, expecting a little bit of a meander to the downside and then possibly a, another opportunity to get long again. This trend is fairly strong, but we are so exhausted at the moment from, if you look at it in relation to the alligator, we're so far away at the moment. And if I just switch, switch across to the Ichimoku, you'll see the same picture. So looking at the four hour, you can see we're far away from Kijitan and Tikinson and they are also flat. So I would expect price to come back and sort of test this area before an opportunity to get long again. Okay, so that's my view for the day. I hope that helps. Um, just uh, be very cautious because the volatility at 12 o'clock can be quite violent. Um, it just depends how serious the contract holder, the futures contract holders are about defending their position. So, yep, just keep those stops tight and stay safe. Anyway guys, hope it helps. Catch up with you later. Cheers for now.